We are going to continue our web series where we break down every Cosmic Fury and Dino Fury Ranger. Today we are going to be talking about Javi Garcia. Let's talk about it. Hit that intro, Rangers. You are watching the fan club. You're watching the fan club. And you're watching the fan club. Do you know what time it is? And you know what time it is. It's time for the fan club. Let's go. Hey! I can't do this on my own because you know they What's going on everyone? Welcome to the fan club. It is your boy Braz, Dan Brosden in the building. We have a special episode for you. We are going to continue our series where we break down each individual Dino Fury slash Cosmic Fury Ranger. Yesterday we talked about Izzy Garcia and today we have to talk about her brother Javi Garcia also known as the Black Dino Fury and Cosmic Fury Ranger. He is a very courageous and dedicated individual. When we first meet Javi, he is trying to get a job at Buzz Blast. However, Javi's plans take a detour when he heads to the Pine Ridge Museum to report on the mysterious Nephrite Orb. During his interview, the museum is attacked by Boom Tower, Mucus, and Drachnarok, who try to steal the orb, acting quickly. Javi makes a report to the Ranger hotline about the attack. During the Ranger's first battle against Boom Tower and Dragnarok, Javi takes the initiative and snatches the orb, unknowingly carrying Mucus along in his father's patrol car. Seeking a safe space, Javi is ambushed by Boom Tower and Dragnarok until he is saved by Izzy and the other Rangers. With Izzy's help, Javi successfully retrieves the orb and uses his harmonica to distract Boom Tower and Drachnarok. Realizing the danger the orb poses, Javi throws it towards a nearby rock, revealing the Stego and Tiger Dino keys. Javi and Izzy then transform into Power Rangers, joining forces with Red, Blue, and Pink to fight against Boom Tower and Drachnarok. Later, Javi and Izzy visit the command center and meet their mentor. They discover that Zato is a knight from Ravcom and learn that the Nephrite orb has been destroyed, leaving Javi unable to complete his report. Feeling disheartened, Javi and Zato meet up with Jane, who apologizes for their incomplete stories. However, Jane commends Javi's dedication and bravery, offering him a job at Buzz Blast. Despite initially being upset, Javi realizes that he can use his musical talents to awaken the Stego Spike Zord and helps in battle with his whistle. Javi learns to open up and embrace his abilities as he continues his journey as the Black Dino Fury Ranger. There were some really awesome scenes in Dino Fury that you got to see Javi's musical ability. There were some pretty awesome songs. You had Spotlight in there. You had the other one where he's singing with the, the one dude with the blue hair and he's like playing guitar. He was snapping. But then probably my favorite Javi moment was when his dad finally accepted him. Throughout Dino Fury, his dad, the warden, Warden Garcia, basically treated uh, Javi's musical dreams as just a stupid hobby. And Javi's talented. Dude's actually got some things going for him. And if he was my kid, I would be supporting him. And then towards the end of season two, he actually has his dad on his side and he apologizes and he tells him that he is going to support. And now he's like his biggest fan. So that's something that I loved how they developed that character in Dino Fury. But I have to say that he's probably one of the most underdeveloped characters because even the things that did happen were more of the characters around him developing. So I loved that in Cosmic Fury, we got to see more of him and I absolutely loved it. So Javi faced numerous challenges and hardships throughout his journey as a Power Ranger. During a fierce battle with the Sentinels on Zornia, the Morphin Masters were absorbed by a machine created by Scrozzle. However, before being absorbed, Master Red entrusted Javi with his staff, which granted him a vision. 
This vision led Javi and the team to an altar that would unleash the Cosmic Fury Zords. As Javi inserted the staff, a powerful surge of energy coursed through him, resulting in the destruction of his right arm. Overwhelmed and in shock, Javi was forced to retreat back to the base with the help of Mick. The loss of his arm left Javi questioning his abilities, especially after a cybernetic replacement created by Billy and Solon caused unforeseen issues. Despite these setbacks, Javi was determined to continue fighting alongside his team. When the base's engines were repaired and Fern joined as the Orange Cosmic Fury Ranger, Javi and the Rangers returned to Earth to liberate it from the reign of Zed. However, their mission faced obstacles as they were taken prisoner upon their rough landing. With the assistance of Tarek and his resistance group, Zato, Ion, and Solon managed to free Javi and the other rangers along with their families. Eventually, after Zed's defeat and banishment, Javi bid farewell to Zato as he embarked on his new path as a Zenith Morphin Master. In time, Javi showcased his musical talents by performing at a concert where he debuted a new song he had written inspired by Zordon's wise phrase, a testament to his growth and resilience. I absolutely love this character. I love that they added the element of music to Power Rangers. They've done it before, but there was something special with this because he's an actual musician. He was on the show Boy Band. It was just perfect for Chance Perez to be that character. I love Javi. What are your guys' thoughts? Let me know in the comments. I gotta shout out all of the fans out there that take the time out of their day to watch this content. You are the real MVPs and the reason why we can continue to make content like this. So thank y'all so much and we will see you next time, Rangers. Peace. I wanna give a special shout out to the Gold Ranger members, Anime King Nick, Chaos Draco, The Arctic Operator, Miguel Ortiz, Let's Talk Sports, Papleon Orger, Roderick Ham, Louis Cairns, Salima Ramirez, Danny Nascimento, Stephen Heffelman, Thomas Franco, and Sean Schiffer. Thank you guys again for your support. And if you want a video shout out like this one, sign up to be a Gold Ranger member today. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this content, you know what to do. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell. You can also become a member. Please join the fan club support team right now. We have a Blue Ranger power up and a Gold Ranger power up. This is an awesome way to talk with the fans. Join a fan club official chat group. You can also be featured in our videos. At the end of the videos, I will shout you out. That's if you get the Gold Ranger Power Up membership. Go check it out. Go support the fan club. We love you guys, and thanks for watching. Peace. Hi. Hi. We're Bulk and Skull. Skull. We, we have been requested, requested by, by the, the fan club to say something funny. Ha, ha, ha.